Hey, welcome to the channel. We're going to make some easy Fortnite buttons or a button panel. And uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for stopping by here. And don't forget to subscribe and like the videos and comment and come on back again. Here's what we're going to be doing. Here's an image from the internet and I'll link to this. It's a sort of a computer. And what I want to do is show you how to make this simple button panel that you can use either in a model like this or, or your own model. Alright, so here I am in Blender and what we're going to do is we're going to hit A to select everything, X and delete. Let's press number one to look from the front orthographic view so we're looking straight on and let's bring that reference image in just so that we can sort of see it and follow along with that. So press Shift A Come down to image, choose reference, and then find the image on your computer. There it is. Now all we want to do is click here, make sure you've got move enabled, and I just want to move it off to the side so that I can look at that once in a while. Maybe we'll press S and scale it up a little bit and then move it over to the side so we can see that. If you want to make it so that you can't select this by accident, just come up to the top here and scroll your mouse button so you can move this. Click here, click the arrow, and then click the arrow again. Now you can't select it. All right, so we're gonna make this. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create the panel part here, this rounded area. This is gonna be rounded rounded rectangle so I'm going to start with a plane so shift a mesh plane now this plane is laying on its side so we're going to press tab to go into edit mode and press a make sure it's all selected and then let's rotate this around the x axis so it's standing up so press r x 90 and there it is now this doesn't look like it's a complete square uh, let's make it a little bit more of a rectangle so let's scale this in the Z direction and flatten it out this way so let's press S Z and just pull it down a little bit like that all right great so now we want to round these corners here so if it's unselected press A to select it all and if you don't see these dots the vertices come over here and click this so maybe you're here or maybe you're here press that or you can press one one two and three will cycle through these as I press that so one is for vertex selection make sure they're all selected now to, to round these you need to press control shift and B or shift control B and now we get this crosshair with the line and pull it and you see it splitting now that's a really cool sci-fi effect right there but we want them rounded so pull them apart a little bit and then start rolling your mouse wheel up and that will add vertices in here. There's three vertices, four, five. And I'm gonna go for five. I tend to find that an odd number is good. I'm gonna left click to accept that. See this vertex right there is in the middle of the curve. And I usually find that an odd number works well and five works pretty good. So we've got a rounded panel now. All right. I'm pressing the middle mouse button and I'm just panning around now. So we're gonna give this some thickness and create this sort of um, beveled effect here. So let's do this. You see the Y axis here, the green one is in, along this axis here. So we're going to extrude backwards. So I'm gonna press E, left click, and pull with this just a little bit like that. So it's a little bit of trial and error. There's no exact amount that we're going to pull back. Just go a little ways. And then I'm going to press S and pull a little bit out so that it's, it, it flares out. You can hold the shift button to move in slower increments. If you don't hold it, it might move a bit too quick. So hold the shift button and do something like this. Just pull it out a little bit. Press 1 to look from the front. And just look to see that it's pulled out equally in all sides. Often when you do this, it'll pull out more in the X than in the Y, or in the Z direction here, though along the blue arrow. So you may have to scale it in the Z 
to make it equal. So you might go S Z or shift Paul and to make it a bit more even. And that's fine as it is anyhow. Okay, we're gonna do another extrusion. I'm gonna press E to extrude, left click, pull it back a little ways like this. All right, almost an even amount, you know, for this distance and this distance. And we don't need this back face here. You're not gonna see that. So let's just go X faces and get rid of that. So here's what we have so far. All right, I'm gonna right click, shade smooth, and it's gonna look kind of funny. So now we're gonna come over and we're gonna choose in the modifier stack, bevel. I'm gonna choose three bevels. And now it's very smooth, but we don't have yet this sort of crease here. So to make that crease, we're gonna add some edge loops. So with your object selected, press the tap button to go into edit mode and press Control R with your mouse hovering over it. Click and then slide back to sharpen that up a little bit. I'm gonna put another Control R slide forward and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting sort of an even distance between this original line here and this one. So the distance here and the distance here. I may put one more control R and pull it down near the front. And let's look at that now. And here's what we have. Now over here in the bevel modifier, I'm gonna switch this from limit method none to angle and that'll smooth it out a bit more. So there is our panel part right here. This thing, this is what we've created right there. So now it's time to make the buttons. Let's select our object, go into edit mode by pressing tab, shift A to deselect everything. Press number three to go to face selection or click there and select that front face. We're gonna make the buttons out of this. We're gonna duplicate this face by going to shift D left clicking and pulling it out just to get it away from there. Let's separate this out of this piece so we can make the buttons. So press P, separate by selection, go back into object mode by pressing tab, shift A to deselect everything, and now I've got this piece separate from this one. So we're gonna make the buttons out of this and we're gonna leave the panel there. We want to create four rows of four buttons and you'll notice that these buttons here are more curved to follow the curve here all right these the four outside ones all right so let's press one to look from front view and we're going to go into edit mode of this piece right here with the curve so tab into edit mode and to create the four buttons, we're going to cut this. I'm going to press one, look from the front, and I'm going to use the knife tool to cut this. So I'm going to press K. There's the knife. I'm going to come up to the top, and I'm trying to get it roughly in the middle. I'm going to click, press C to constrain the axis to make it a straight line as I just pull down with my mouse, hover over this, and it changes. Click and press spacebar and deselect. I now have an edge that I've cut through. I'll show you the vertices there. I've got an edge there that I cut right through. All right, now it's pretty close to the middle, so I'm gonna press two to go into edge selection and select it. So there it is. Now to make the buttons, I've got a big space here and a big space here. Let's bevel. Control B and pull. And you can see I've got a lot of lines in there. I'm gonna scroll back to zero, so I've got two. If I just click and accept that, I'm gonna get three buttons. I'm gonna roll my mouse up one and pull until the spaces are approximately even. And I will have, I'm gonna go ahead and, and click right about there. I now have, I'll deselect first, three for face selection so that I can show you these. Select one, two, three, four spaces. We're gonna repeat this along this axis. Press K for the knife tool, come to about the middle. If it's going off like that, press C to go straight. Come to the end, click, spacebar to end it. All right, I now have four buttons here, four buttons here, but that's not what I want. I don't want two rows, I want four. So 
in edge selection, shift and alt to, to select the entire edge. And let's bevel again, control B. It should have the correct number of segments. We just used it. Pull until it looks like the buttons are approximately even, something like that. And I now press three, have one, two, three, four buttons there. One, two, three, four buttons there. These ones are rounded and these ones are not as rounded. Now, to make the actual buttons, I'm going to press A to select everything. I'm in face selection and I'm going to use the inset tool. Press I twice in order to select each individual face. So I'm going to press A. If I just press I and I inset like this, I get this effect. And that's not what I want. I'm going to press I again, I twice, and I'll get this. Now, I don't need that much space around it. Just hold shift while you pull your mouse. Don't go like that. Just a little bit of space in between them. Again, it's trial and error. Something like that. Okay. So I've got that. I want to keep these regions and I want to delete the gray outside. So a good way of doing that is with these all selected, press control I that will flip the selection and all this stuff I want to delete. So press X faces and I now have the individual buttons. Let's give them some thickness and extrude them backwards in the Y. So press E left click pull it back a bit like that and with these parts still selected let's press x faces we'll delete them we don't need those i'm going to go back into object mode by pressing tab now these are rounded and bubbly and they look great if that's the effect you're going for then that's fine or we can turn off the limit method but go back to none let's now pull these in to the panel like this we've got our our buttons another thing that i probably would do is you can see a little bit of the space of the panel here a little bit more of the flat surface than we may have here and so what you can do is you can just select the whole thing i would go into edit mode press a and just press s to scale hold down shift and pull a little bit until we're starting to get a flat surface we could also scale it in the Z direction a bit. So there's a little bit more of the flat surface up at the top. So I'm going to press S Z, hold down shift, pull just a bit. So it's kind of equal on both sides and back into object mode. Now let's turn on the cavity shader here by clicking up here and clicking cavity. It'll look a little bit nicer. Now, we need to make sure all of our polys are facing the right direction. They may not. So come up here, click on face outline, see the red? That means these are not facing the right direction. So let's select that background panel, go into edit mode, A to select it all, Alt N, and choose recalculate outside. Deselect, go back into object mode by pressing tab and turn that off. Now they are facing the right direction. We can even hide by pressing the I, the original. And we now have what we need. And we can make it look a little cooler by coming over here, choosing type, choosing both, and just sliding all these values up a little bit more for the cavity shader. And if you have a matte cap that you like, you can choose that to have a look at it. All right, so we now have our nice button panel. You can turn those off to have a better look at that. Save. Cool. All right, let's do a tiny bit more. All right, you'll notice on this uh, image here, we've got this piece, but you also have another panel with just two rows. So let's go ahead and, and make that from here. Press one, select all of this by drawing a box around it, shift D to duplicate it and pull it down below. And let's just work on this one here. All right, the way we're gonna do this is very simple. Here are the buttons, go into edit mode, press three for face selection because it's easier to select. Hold down shift 
as you click through all of these middle buttons we want to delete now I've only selected the top face I want to delete everything so with that selected press Control L that will select everything that's linked X to delete and faces so we have those gone now select this bottom row press Control L to select everything one to look from the front and move them up in the Z direction like this and just choose a distance that you're happy with like that now let's just let's just alter the size of this now don't just press SZ or that will change the curvature of this as well we're going to go into edit mode press Z for wireframe and I like to press one or click there for the vertices and box select the bottom vertices then you can pull them up and you still maintain that curvature like this pull it up so that it looks you can zoom in if you need to so it looks like this is all equal all the way around it something like that let's go back into solid view by pressing z deselect object mode and you've got this bottom one as well let's hide that reference image and let's turn these off and have a look at our work. So we have two very simple button panels. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.